He is quenched his, his, his thirst and I'm taking illegal photographs because it's, it's too pretty to pass up. My goodness, he's taking us through the bushes like you have no idea today. But we really have worked hard and what a reward to finally see him having a drink of water. You good man, you. He really is a lovely leopard. He's put on a fantastic show and even though we don't get to see him too often, it really is so nice when we do. He's got beautiful eyes too. He's got Tumba's eyes. He's a lovely, lovely, lovely old man, aren't you? Oh, you know those allergies. Achoo! Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, this dust, you know, it's just so terrible at this time of the year. Of course, I'm just teasing. I was just being quite sneaky and taking a picture. But it is lovely. You know, I haven't spent time with these animals for such a long time. I think I deserved it. I'm just going to pat myself on the back quickly. <laughs> and he doesn't seem too, too concerned drinking at the water's edge. Normally when you see things like cheetah and, and leopard, of course, coming down, they often look over his shoulder. And he's doing that every now and then, but not a huge worry from him. Now, I don't know if you're going to hear him drinking. Now, Jenny, imagination from Indonesia. You're wondering if this is a man-made dam. It is indeed. It's a little pan. It's one of the pumped uh, pans that we have. So we've got a little one up at Buyatela Dam where the nest cam is. And then this one is just right behind Galago, uh, which is one of the lodges on Duma Private Game Reserve. So that's exactly where we are. But it's not a big one. It's just a little bit. There we go. I think he's done with drinking water now. Look at that reflection. You can see the water's not particularly clean. Somebody's been in here and churned it all up. There have been impala, probably warthogs, maybe a buffalo or anything along those lines. And there's also some Franklins walking straight towards them, some crested Franklins. I don't know if they've seen the leopard yet. And we know this is now will be the second time we have seen silly Franklins walking straight towards big cats. Remember we had that family of about seven walk towards the... Uh, uh, the lions the other afternoon and they're, they're watching him so they're not making a noise perhaps they've obviously seen him and they don't want to give away their presence so we were definitely driving in the right areas because this is the same route there go the franklins just passing behind him quickly run <laughs> right let's go forward we'll keep going oh this is so wonderful what a fantastic afternoon yes franklins run 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 as fast as you can Tingana might be an old man, but I'm sure he could catch you if he really wanted to. And he's just stopped again. We'll have a quick look at him as he just starts to disappear down into the drainage. Now we're going to have to play leapfrog, I'm afraid. Because there are the vehicles in the sighting. And if he goes down into this Tumbuti thicket, we're not going to be able to follow him. We'll have to wait for him to come out on the other side. So that mean, might mean ages of staring into the bushes but it'll be worth it, I can promise you. That's exactly what he's doing. Down into the drainage line towards the Tumbutis, hoping to find a meal. But I'm going to send you back across now to Ellie and see what she's got for you.